all of that and the panel on the roof and the $850 battery totaled up is about 1340 bucks. So in essence, you could say this is a $1,340 fan. Good morning, YouTube. How y'all doing this morning? Uh, this is John out at Cold Beer Ranch, out at the tiny cabin. And um, I think the last video I had the, uh, look at the shadow on the wall over there. How cool is that? Do a bunny rabbit or something? It looks like a turkey. Anyways, got sidetracked. Took the lampshade off of the light to get a little bit more light in here so you can see up here on the wall. I think a little bit better. Yeah. Charge controller, inverter, fuse block, battery. Goes up out to solar panels there. I need to connect the solar panels to the charge controller. But first, I need to connect the charge controller to the battery. And so that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, go ahead and connect that. And we ought to see the display up here uh, light up. And um, then we'll be able to connect the solar panels and see what's up. Of course, it's a little bit of a cloudy day today and uh, not a lot of sun out. I don't know. It's about 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. So let me set this up and uh, see what happens. I know y'all just been waiting, waiting since that last video to see if this thing works. So. Here we go, stand by. I know it's a little dark over here, but I want y'all to see this. So here's the power cable with the uh, mega fuse that I installed on there. I'm gonna hook up the, uh, the negative first. Of course, dropped it. <clears throat> oh, that was close. Okay, so I've heard that uh, sometimes when you uh, connect the positive over here, that there will be a spark. So, I don't know. Let's see. Electricity, man. Here we go. Yes. And that is normal, from what I'm told. So, let's... Uh, get this on here. Actually, I want to turn this fuse over the other way. I think I made it to where it's supposed to fit like this. There we go. Uh-oh, you know what I just noticed? Just noticed something super cool. The charge controller's working. Check this out. We got lights. We got power. How cool is that? And so I think that's supposed to be, what, 13? It's the... <clears throat> What is that? 
That's showing the battery, yeah. Because I have not hooked up the solar panels just yet. So uh, this is going in the right direction. I'm loving this. So let's... Let's check this out. That means I wired everything up correctly. And if I hook up these solar panels, it ought to give me, uh, cause see it here, it's showing like a moon, like nighttime on the solar panels and nothing charging the batteries. So yeah, let me, uh, let me get this. I wonder if I can set you guys up a little higher here. I'm gonna leave these, uh, these are the cables that go to the solar panels. I'm gonna leave them this long for now. <clears throat> you know, you can see they go out to the solar panel up here. So I'm gonna leave them, I don't know, should I leave them long? Should I just go ahead and do it right the first time? Cause otherwise I gotta come around here and they'll be hanging. They just don't look as good. I just want to see, I just mix, okay. I need to cut them. I need to cut them and bring them down around up into here. Cause they're supposed to be connected right here. All right, let me, let me cut these. Okay, YouTube, it's on. The solar panels coming from uh, the outside come down into the charge controller and hopefully you can see the solar panels are providing power to the battery. Um, I do have a, a plug into the inverter coming down here, powering this fan and it's blowing on me. And so all of that and the panel on the roof and the $850 battery totaled up is about 1340 bucks so in essence you could say this is a 1340 dollar fan is it worth it i don't know it'll probably be able to power that light too and i'll be able to uh put a usb thingy dauber on it and power that and yeah And here's my little remote switch over here to be able to turn it on and off. Let me figure that out real quick. I think there's a switch up here. Okay, the fan went off. And if I turn it to the other side, I think I can control it. Yeah, from there. Yeah, fan comes on. Nice. So that way I don't have to be getting up and down. I can just come over here and hit this switch, which I just noticed is a little crooked, but this is awesome. Guys, beginner setup here. One battery, one charge controller. One inverter, one solar panel, all wired up. Uh, check out the previous video if you want to learn how to do it. Um, yeah, I can't wait to test it and, and you know draw the battery down and get it to recharge and all that good stuff. So, anyways, it works, man. It works. I'm super excited about it. Uh, I can hook up and, and you know what? I got some lights, some LED lights that I need to hang up in here, and I can I can go get them and. Um, and I can really start working in here. Maybe hook up a couple of fans and get us a good breeze blowing in here and be comfortable out here. Somewhat comfortable. Right now I'm going to tie down these wires. Put some straps on those so that they uh, look a little bit better. And I'll uh, get right back with you. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and you'll know when all my new videos are coming out. Take care. All right, there it is. Pretty clean. Coming out of the wall with the panel wires. 
those come down up and into the charge controller here this is the charge controller uh, power coming out going over to the fuse block and all that comes down to the battery and then this is an extension cord coming out of the inverter with a plug that comes over to the fan just keeping me cool and then you can uh, see that the charge controller is actually working Does anybody know what kind of mushrooms those are? They're everywhere out here. So there was a little bit of programming involved, very minimal. You just hit that right button, right key to set it up uh, for lithium iron phosphate and for 12 volt or 24 volt. Uh, but once you lock them in, it's pretty good. It's been running for a couple hours. Uh, it hadn't dropped really below 12.9, but all I have running is this lamp here and uh, this fan. So. I'm loving it. I mean, you talk about just it's renewable energy and and uh, for what I'm going to be doing out here, it's just not a lot. But uh, yeah, super excited to have it. I think you can see how it's all set up. It's just super easy. I know some people were worried about off gassing of the battery. I think it's very, very uh, not that it's impossible for lithium iron phosphate batteries, but uh, they're supposed to be safe to be able to be used inside. So I don't know, maybe I need to do a little more research on that. We'll see. <clears throat> Got these, uh, String lights I'm gonna hang from the ceiling, I think, for now. LED, come with a little remote and you can change the color. I think that'd be kind of cool out here. Use very limited uh, power, being LED and all. Anyways, what's up YouTube? How y'all guys doing? Uh, out at the tiny cabin. Just so excited about that. That solar is awesome. Um, I think I wanna tackle this. Um, this is the uh, double bubble wrap that I purchased for the ceiling and for underneath the tiny cabin. Um, and, you know, it's just getting hotter and hotter. Plus, when it gets cooler, this will have some insulation value to keep heat in. I just got to figure out how to put it up there and if I'm going to end up covering up the ceiling or do I need to do such a great job at putting it up there to where it looks really nice in case I leave it exposed. So I just don't know. I need to decide. I, I think I could probably do, I don't know. I think a tongue and groove might look kind of cool up there or maybe just fence pickets or something, but uh, we shall see. First thing I need to do is get the uh, insulation up there and 
help keep some cool in here and keep the heat out and then vice versa during the winter so uh did a little bit of cleanup swept up in here there's a little bit of more floor space uh i'm telling you man i just can't wait to spend the night out here um i think uh if i had another fan and uh, you know it wasn't too terribly hot outside i could i could stay out here right now i don't need no ac so anyways looking forward to that let me get this insulation up on the ceiling Okay. All right, guys. So I got the first two rows, if you can see them, up there. So basically, I'm just cutting this stuff and folding it around the, you know, around the joist the ceiling rafter and then stapling it on the side. And that's kind of the look it's given like a white ceiling maybe I don't know uh, not too terribly difficult so let me see what a couple more of these look like I'm still undecided I mean it's gonna work it's gonna provide some insulation it'll be interesting to see you know next time I come up here when it's done what the temperature is in here I need to get a thermostat in here or, um, uh, thermometer I mean so anyways okay uh, yeah let me keep going. That's what it's looking like so far. It looks all right. <laughs> 